Hey guys, Wipeout Knives here. Uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video just um, kind of explaining to people uh, a little bit about uh, being kind to other people, <laughs> especially in the same field as you are. Um, so I'm just, I'm just going to be uh, hand sanding while I talk. But um, yeah, there's, there's lots of guys out there that are really, really, really secretive when it comes to the world of knife making. Now, my idea about it is that, you know, if somebody's having some trouble and they need some help, just help them. You know, like, just help them out because, I mean, you know, there's lots of knife makers out there that, you know, work their asses off and they really don't see that much money for it. Um, it's a lot of hard work, really, running your own business, you know, like, a lot of people don't think that you gotta go to the post office, you gotta go get all your supplies, you know, you, you gotta take time and order all that stuff on top of your daily work day. Um, you know, get, getting all your blades out. So, you know, if somebody's having some trouble, go ahead and help them out. Um, if you're another knife maker, don't, don't be so freaking concerned with uh, you know, giving away all your secrets or this or that, you know, like, it's just a bunch of crap. It's just you being selfish and not wanting to help other people out. Uh, I've, you know, it's, uh, you know, forgive me if I've missed a couple of people's comments, but for the most part, I try to answer at least, you know, everybody's comment that I can, um, especially if they need help. Um, I, th I think that just goes along with being part of a craftsman. Uh, you gotta, you gotta help people, you have to educate, you, you, you have to do those things, uh, especially in today's world, because I, I just see it all the time, and I mean, it, 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 when I was in school, they never pushed things like this, they never pushed the trade skills, um, it, it was always, it was always kind of a thing like, you know, you, you gotta grow up and you gotta be a nurse, you know, that, that's just the way it is, <laughs> uh, you know, because there's a demand for it, but, um, it kind of just, uh, it, it just upsets me that the schools don't do that because I didn't really fit in with a lot of the common core things. Uh, you know, like I, I would just much rather prefer to be out in the shop and they did have shop classes and, you know, things like that, but it was always kind of like frowned upon, you know, if you go into shop class, oh, you're, you're going against the, the grain of society, you know, you're, you're not going to grow up to be anything. You're not going to amount to anything. If you're just gonna bit, uh, play around in that shop all day, you know, but I'm telling you, it's possible. Um, I know there's a lot of people that watch me that are younger kids even, you know, so if you guys are interested in stuff like this, stick with it, man. Um, I, I know it's pretty hard to convince your parents sometimes that stuff like this is even uh, <laughs> considered a, a career choice, but it, it really is. I mean, if you, if you do... I mean, if you get into something like this, you have to have the passion for it, though. Uh, you can't just go into this and say, oh, you know, that's a business, and that's just all it is to me. you got to have the passion for it. You know, I, I know I know guys that strictly made it a business, you know, and, and that's all it was, and, and they're miserable. <laughs> so, it's like, why, why go through all the trouble of having a small business if you're going to be miserable? You know, en enjoy your job. Enjoy what you do. Um, that, that's, that's kind of the way I think. I, I, I think, you know, you know how they always say, if you, if you like your job, then you'll never work a day in your life. And, and that's, you know, so, some things do become a job when, when you run the small business, but it's like, for the most part, I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's lots of crazy people out there I, I think they're crazy if they're if they're just not willing to help people out and just share um you know i i like posting the videos and everything it's it gets to be a bit much i mean you know i'm sitting here talking to you while i'm hand sanding so uh i got a lot of christmas orders that are getting ready to go out <clears throat> so i'm just trying to get those done this week as, as best as i can um but at least you get to see me kind of work a little bit um yeah, the videos take quite a bit of time. I'd, I'd like to do more. You, you, guys, you guys have heard all, all I have to say about that. Um, 
but yeah, I, I don't know. There, there's been guys that, you know, I'll, I, when I was first starting, I would ask them, and they're just like, oh, no, no, I can't tell you that. That's a trade secret, you know? <laughs> and, and it's like, man, the information's out there. Uh, so, you know, just like, help me out, you know? I'm just trying to advance my my skills and, and my craft, and I, I just want some uh, advice. But, I, I don't know. It, it's It's usually the people that keep quiet like that uh, in today's world that I've found that do not get far because they lack in social skills almost. Um, they have a lot of trouble talking to people uh, in a way to be friendly and uh, just, I don't know, be, being willing to help other people. Um, I've actually, because I've helped a lot of people, I've, I've actually, you know, advanced my business. Uh, and not only that, I mean, I've, I've made some pretty damn good friends just just talking to people, you know, and just helping them through their whatever they had to get through. Uh, and, I mean, you, you really make some good friends, and that's what it's really all about is, you know, becoming a craftsman and, and meeting all these new people, and you have to make it a personal thing. You know, that's what people really like. They like to get to know the person who made their stuff and it really it really uh gives you a nice little backstory to where it came from you know if you know what if you know what that person's about uh you get a little i don't know it, the the knife becomes more personal i think uh if you, if you know your maker on a personal level i mean that that's great i mean you, you know all the hard work that got put into it you know you know, well, well, a lot, a lot more about them. Uh, to me, to me, that's just awesome. If you can get a maker like that that will talk to you, and uh, you know, get get to know you by your first name on a regular basis, then that's great. That's fantastic. And I, I know I'm rambling, but that's kind of like the purpose of this video. Just. <laughs> Kind of talking to you guys and, and giving you a, a little bit of a code of ethics to to kind of stand by. Um, you know, I I'm, I'm not exactly uh, an expert in the field of psychology, but <laughs> I, I know I know it does help a lot of people out uh, if you if you just sit there and talk with them for a bit and uh, just just be caring, be caring to the people around you. Um, I'm Christian myself. You know, and I, I think a lot of that has a bit to do with it. You know, like, you know, help out your neighbor. Help out your neighbor when they need it. <clears throat> there, I mean, there, there's there's quite a few craftsmen that are, you know, they really, really love it. They really love doing this kind of trade. But they weren't really born in the atmosphere for it. You know, there's there's lots of people in the city or something that are... And I mean, I'm, a, I'm in town myself, but it's not a very big town. But, uh... Yeah, or, or they, um, maybe, maybe their dads weren't really into stuff like this, uh, or moms, or, you know, whatever. And, and they want to get into it, and, you know, I'll have, like, a lot of guys on my videos are like, Oh, man, you're just talking way too much, or, you know, you sound ridiculous, or you spent way too much time on that video. <laughs> you know, but it's just like, well, there, there's, there's people out there that don't have as rich of a background in tools and shop uh, environment so it's kind of good to have that for those people out there that really want to learn those things um, you know cuz I'm, I'm sure there's quite a few kids that actually watch my channel that are interested in this kind of thing and there's got to be somebody out there to educate them um, you know if, if nobody can in their home environment so uh, it, it's just a, it's just kind of like a, the chain of education, you know. It's just something I kind of wanted to pass down. Um, and at first, you know, my videos were were more about marketing, you know. I kind of wanted to get my name out there and uh, show people what I could do, or you know, this and that. But you know, now it's it's more becoming like, you know, I just want to help people out and teach them and and get more people into this craft. Because I think the world needs more tradesmen, um, more creativity, and, and, and less corporate crap. 
Um, just, just have something out there for people to express themselves and and not get caught up in the daily humdrum of you know what what some people call a job. And I mean, yeah, you, you got to support your family and everything. Um, and, and that comes number one. Um, but if, if you can make it, you know, and you have the passion for it to, to be a craftsman and do something that you really love to do, then do it, man. Do it. For sure. But I'm about done sin hand sanding that grit. So, uh, I think I've rambled on long enough, but, uh, I'll let you all go. And, uh, just remember to be caring, help out your neighbor, and, uh, don't be so darn secretive. But... Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.